El Ochito, Contact Termination Procedure. Here are the tools you'll need to install El Ochito white contacts. First step is to make a clean and perpendicular cut. A 90 degree cut ensures that all the wires in the cable will be the same length and will terminate neatly. Next, slide the sealing boot onto the cable. Slide it up the cable, staging it for later use. Use a caliper to measure and mark 0.720 inches. Cut the cable jacket along the mark you just made with an X-Acto blade and remove it. If your cable has an identifying ribbon, cut it and remove it. Now flare and pull back the inner braided shielding. Now it's time to cut and remove the inner Teflon tape wrap. Now the inner wire conductor pairs are exposed. Flare the wire pairs. The cable has a separating filler element. Cut it as close as possible to the cable jacket. Now we're going to strip 115 thou from each individual wire. Whether your shop uses calipers or hot tweezers, the 115 thou measurement is what's important. Now it's time to install the individual contact, one contact at a time. Make sure the conductor is visible through the inspection hole. Crimp the individual contacts using Glenair crimp tools and positioners. Note that the positioner is specific to the Elogito contact. Continue to load and crimp each contact one at a time. When all eight wires are terminated, pull the braid forward. Slide the ferrule over the braid. Push it snug against the outer cable jacket. Then flare the braided shielding and push it back evenly over the ferrule. Trim the excess braid at the shoulder of the ferrule as shown in the diagram. Now we'll terminate the pin contact insert. First, install the plated cross shield onto the insulator. Now snap the contacts into the inner insulator in the order shown above. There is no key on the inner insulator, but the color order is important. Now install the outer insulator. The insulator key needs to be centered over the brown and brown-white wire color pair. Install the plastic bushing or spacer. This piece prevents the wires from compressing or twisting when you assemble the contact. Now we'll use Glenair's spacer tools to install the outer contact body and fully seat the pin and socket contact inserts. To install the outer contact body, align the contact's key with the tool's keyway. Now mate the pin insert to the pin alignment tool. Be sure that the insulator key is aligned with the contact key to ensure proper seating. Seat the pin contact within the outer contact body.
Now clamp the insertion tool around the cable. This tool allows firm and even pressure to be applied when pushing together the assembly. Push together to finish seating the pin insert into the outer contact. Now use a standard crimp tool to crimp the outer body. Your pin contact is now terminated. Now we'll show you how to terminate the socket contact insert. First, install the cross shield. Then snap the socket contacts into the inner insulator in the order shown in the diagram. Again, there is no key on the inner insulator, but the color order is important. Install the outer insulator, orienting the key above the brown, white, and brown wire pair. Crimp the outer contact body of the socket the same way you did the pin. The termination is now complete.